Okay, I am back guys. Uh, you might notice that I added a pupil. I was gonna paint it in at first, but then I was just like, eh, maybe it's best that I don't so I can like leave the highlight of the eye white. And um, I've also bulked out this area a little bit since I noticed, or I didn't go back to my references, which I, I wasn't using any references for this uh, video by the way, but I just remembered how like hyenas, they usually have like, a little more muscle and a little bit of bone over there so I bulked that out a bit and I, I somewhat fixed the direction of the fur on the neck again I didn't look back at any references but I just kind of remembered I guess that it was like that um, All right, now it is time to erase the pencil lines. You can already see kind of a difference. All right, now it is time to paint this guy. I'm quite proud of it so far. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm only gonna be using this brush. Um, yeah. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is the eye, because that would be, in theory, the easiest to do first. So. Oh, and you'll notice I changed my uh, little row of colors here. Um, I'm gonna try this one. I've never tried it before. Hopefully, it's what I'm looking for for the eye. Let's see. Okay, it's a little bit lighter than I expected, but we can go over. Um, yeah, we can go over the eye again. Yeah, there we go. And you don't have to do yours exactly like mine. Hyenas come in like quite a few different colors. So yeah. Oh well, spotted do striped. They do have variations and like variants and stuff, but like not as much as the spotted hyena. I 
like anyone who says hyenas are only X color or Y color, like they have, they clearly haven't seen enough hyenas to uh, you know really know that that's not true. I'm gonna keep this guy on the lighter side. Um, not super light, like there's some hyenas that are like pretty much almost white to be honest, or like really light beige I guess, would be a more accurate description. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this guy relatively like light, uh, light brownish. Still using the same color, by the way, the raw umber. It's quite useful for hyenas. Of course, I would know that because I do hyenas. Spotted hyenas, I should say, all the time. I have them brown and striped, but the brown one didn't really turn out that well. The striped, I was, I was not super proud of it, but I was okay with it. Just wanna get some color in these areas. Make sure it's not pure white. in most hyenas, definitely not all, but many, there is like the lower half of the neck is like a bit lighter in color, like on a lot of them it's like almost white but not quite, so <laughs> almost white but not quite, um, anyway, enough rhyming, you guys get the point, actually that rhyme wasn't even intentional, but yeah.
actually before it dries, I'm gonna add the uh, coloring for the lips. So for that, I'm just gonna get some ultramarine, put it, I guess, over here, and mix it with some Payne's Gray. Okay, so just like that. A little more ultramarine. A little more Payne's Gray. Exaggerate the dark areas, but like enhance them. The little whisker dots. And I'm gonna some like some fur texture, so to speak. Like a short fur on this part of the snail, but like, you know, still fur. I guess I'm shading already, so yeah. Alright, cool. I'm just taking ultramarine and watering it down really. Don't get me wrong, as we all know, I love shading with uh, ultramarine, ultramarine, um, yeah, but you do still have to like water it down because like I don't want that to be too distracting so to speak, 
from the uh, image. But yeah. I guess this is coming along quite nicely. Time to add the spots. So for that, I'm just gonna use some sepia. Uh, I'll put it up here. Not sure if you guys can see that, but oh well. And I'll mix that with burnt umber.
all right if you guys have made it this far i'd like to thank you for watching the video uh it means a lot to me and uh yeah if you enjoyed it you know what to do smash that like button uh show that you like the video and like the stuff in it and uh yeah all right see you guys then in the next one um catch you later stay home stay safe and goodbye